What's up guys, Collect Station here, and today I'm going to show you another budget deck. This is my Dimensional Glad Eados deck. It's a lot to take in, but it really does work. It basically uses the Gladiator Beasts, um, Guardian Eados, and Dimensional Fissure just to lock down uh, your opponent. And um, I've been dueling with this quite a lot on uh, Dueling Network, and it's it's been going very well. So it's one of the best, I think it's one of the best decks I've ever built, and for a budget deck, it's you can't really go wrong. So just I'll go through it and explain each card in it. Um, I've got three Heraclinus and three Geyseris. They're pretty much the main fusions of the Glad deck. Um, I don't really use them that much, so they're just there just for a backup. I don't use Synchros or anything because this is a budget deck. Um, if you can add Synchros, do it. But um, yeah, I don't use Synchros in this deck. Um, now for the main deck, we have three Guardian Yardos. If you don't know what this does. If there's no um, monsters in your graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand. So with um, the GB is going back to your deck and the Dimensional Fissure getting rid of all monsters that do go to the graveyard, it's a very good thing. Um, beat Stick for 2500. You don't use the Equip um, spell card effect, but um, you can if you really want to. But yeah, you won't. Um, I use two Thunder King. You don't have to use these. I'm thinking about taking these out because they don't work well with the D Fissure line, but. Um, they have been um, a little bit of a help, but yeah, again, I might be taking these out. I run three Laquari, um, mainly just because these are... I like the beat stick that it provides, and I used to pretty much run a um, Laquari beat stick deck, and I've never really just gotten off using three, so they're really good. Um, one Bestiari, just to clear the back row. Two, a quest to get back any um, GBs that do go to the grave, or if I want to get back a War Chariot. Um, two Hoplimus just for that defense. Um, I don't use them that much, but um, they're there if I need them. One Darius, this is just in case I don't have D Fissure out and I need to get my graveyard clean for Iados. One Mamillo just to get rid of um, you know monsters and things like that. Um, I might add another one, but uh, add one, it's doing fairly well. I run a Cyber just because it works well in every deck. It's a good beat stick, just a first drop as well. And Morphing Jar just to either replenish my hand or if I know my opponent has something, just get rid of that. Um, spells, we have 3D Fissure just to uh, keep the graves clean and it really mucks up a lot of decks. Um, 2 Proving Ground just to search the deck. I think 3 is a bit overkill. 2 Shrink because um, I don't want my GBs to be run down by big monsters and it helps take out things like Stardust and all that kind of thing. So it's actually a very good card to use. Um, two Smashing Ground, just to clear the field. Two MST for that back row control. Monster Reborn to get back anything that does go to the grave. Um, or to just clear the grave so I can get, um, Eados out. Uh, Book of Moon. Um, Poor Man, Solemn Morning. Um, just Bottomless Trap Hole, they work well. But if you have Solemn Morning, you can obviously add that. Two War Chariot. I only like two because I do think they are a bit choosy, so um, two is where I stand, and I only have two because I sold one because I didn't think I need three, and to be honest, I really don't. Um, I think two is just a good margin. Um, two Compulsory Evacuation Device. These are actually really good. Um, just return a monster on the field to the hand, or in a Synchro case, or an Exceed monster, back to the extra deck, so it really stuffs up a lot of things. One Warbaku to defend your GB so they don't die and you take no battle damage, so it's pretty sweet. Um, Solemn Judgment, that's a staple, obviously. Torrential Tribute and a Mirror Force, just for that monster control. So, guys, that's it. Um, the deck really shouldn't cost you any more than about $40, seeing as how um, Iados is now a super rare from the tins, so they're only about $3 each. Um, Thunder King is really the only expensive card in this deck, so obviously don't run it if you can't spend that much money, but again, they're not fantastic in the deck. They do work well as an anti-meter, but yeah, again, the uh, D fissure kind of mucks it up, so I'm thinking about taking this out once again. So um, thank you for watching, and if you need any help with your deck, uh, let me know. I'm happy to help, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.